local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. His job is to stop the opposing team, yet for Manchester defensive coordinator Joe Flitcraft, stopping was not an option. 20 years ago, he was severely injured during a terrible snowmobile accident. Flitcraft now roams the sidelines in a wheelchair as a quadriplegic. The Squires take on Bluffton tomorrow night, and sports reporter Andy McDonald has more on this inspiring assistant coach. Wow. Sit. Cut. Football fuels Joe Flitcraft. Quick feet, quick feet. There you go, quick. And his craft is defense. Good. I do the exact same thing as everybody else. I just typically got to do it a different way. 225. Set. Cut. The assistant coach and defensive coordinator for Manchester High School runs a complex system. It's complicated for sure. Not very many people would be able to do this defense, I believe, but... Um, just eats, drinks, lives football. He's pretty demanding. He's demanding with our players, and uh, as I think we all are, but he also loves them to death. His journey to coaching is also complicated. Understand that there, there are going to be hills and valleys and get over it and make that work. Explode forward. Keep your hips low. Flickcraft played defensive line for North Miami in the late 1990s before a snowmobile accident his senior year of high school altered his life. Being pulled by a snowmobile on the sled and went a little wide and I ended up uh, colliding with a telephone pole head on. So I had a, a ATV helmet on and kept me from being a vegetable and so I'm a C4 quadriplegic. Are you taped? Despite being confined to a wheelchair, Flitcraft graduated college and stayed around the game thanks to coaching. To go from that to get to this, um, it's been a pretty wild ride. Break down. He's worked up the ranks with a no excuses attitude. It's just one day at a time. You know, you see how other people do things and try to figure out what's the best way for me. Who can't be inspired by what Joe does? And for the effort that he puts in, the time that he puts in, um, you know, it, it's, just, it's just heartwarming for our kids to see when we say we can't do it. You know, one more, I can't get it. Coach Flitcraft's that, that inspiration. You can't have your feet slipping up underneath you. For the past two decades, Flitcraft coached under head coach Greg Miller at his alma mater before moving with Miller to Manchester several years ago. All, all the coverages. Yeah. I don't think that you'll find anybody with more of a heart and urge for football than him. Respect for him. I mean, it's hard for normal people to run a defense, and he's far from normal, but, I mean, he does his best. And that's all we can ask for. Come, what do you what do you hope people like see when they see you on the sidelines? I hope they see a coach. I I'm not I'm not any different than any of the other coaches. Um, we all work together and try to help our kids win. That's just a coach. Up, Sam. Eyes up, Sam. Run with your eyes up. Andy McDonald, Wayne, 15. Joe works from home during the day and is thankful that his parents help manage his schedule while also coaching during the fall. That does it for sports. We're back after this.